What's going on, everybody? I try to get the try to see if we can get a clear view of them connecting, but unfortunately, I couldn't. And it was hard work, man. Standing here trying to watch them court. They were courting for about an hour and a half, literally. So I had to pause the video and stop the video, man. I couldn't sit here standing there that long, but. I, the decision was a good decision, man. I'm glad I threw him in there one more time because, look, I, I'm i assuming that they locked, even though I can't see it, but you can see how Rudy is po you know, pulsing. It looked like, literally, like he's uh, ejaculating. Like, you'll see it. And I remember this before for, like, all my boys, every time they breathe, I always see this. So this is a good sign. This is a good sign if, you're, if your boys is doing this. This is a, definitely a good sign. I wish I can get on the other side of the tank and, you know, we can all see a clear view. That would be really, really interesting. But, I mean, this is what I have for now. And it seems like Lola just gave in. You know, I watched them. They were just playing cat and mouse. Like he was all on top of her trying to, you know, follow her and using his spurs to literally to keep her moving in the position that he wanted. I mean, there were even times where he went under her. His tail went under her and lifted her tail up So. He definitely proved the dominance in that. I got to elaborate that having a confident male is important because if your male ain't going to do all that work, you know, then you ain't going to get the grand prize. You know, if he ain't going to do all the work to get the cookie, then then it's then it's a waste of time. It ain't going to be successful. But this boy is definitely a, a, a confident male and he will he will produce confident males, little males. His 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 babies is going to be very confident and. And Lola is very healthy, man. Last her last clutch was uh thirty thirty five, with two slugs and one die. So I'm assuming that this next this next clutch will be. I mean, I said clutch. I can't believe I said clutch. That's ball python litters. Her next litter will be around that number and hopefully more. So, you know, guys, thanks for watching. You know, definitely keep in touch if you're interested because when these come out, this is going to be some high techs and they're going to be parrotheads and they're going to be possible anneries. They're going to be some regular, some super hypos, some hypos, super hypos that are going to be um, parahits and um, possible anery. And what the parahits means is literally that's bow, that's bow woman caramel, which is like a, a, which is like a T positive albino. It's a really, really nice color. Or you're going to get some sharp albinos, you know, or definitely, you know, half a sharp albinos. And but the best part is, is that when you match them both together, they become paradigms. And when you get paradigms, that's what Rudy is. Rudy is a hyper paradigm. And when you get paradigms, you know, you can definitely produce paradigm Aztecs, high techs, paraglows, and, and et cetera. And if you can prove out the energy gene, which I'm trying to do, then it's going to be a, you're going to get some white boas, some beautiful white Aztec boas. And I already got the first litter and I got some whole bags from them. And when this litter comes out, that's what I plan to do is use them as the second litter and match it with the first litter and create some beautiful boas. So thanks everybody for watching. This is Jeff Ali for Exo Boas. I'm gone.